Hi guys, so I've just uh, seen in one of the comments a, a really good question that I thought I'd uh, quickly touch upon, which is how do I wire LED strips for a larger project, which is for example over five meters. So what I'm going to do is, is put several links in the uh, comment section showing you some detailed um, graphs and, and um, instructions so you can really see how that is uh, the best way to do that. But I thought I'd just quickly touch upon this here. So let me show you this picture here. Hopefully you can see that. So for, for projects over five meters, the, the first thing I can say is you can still wire these back to one power supply, whether that is white or RGBW or single color lights, whatever, um, however many meters of strip you're looking for, we do have the power supplies so that you can have them off one power supply so they are large power supply or high powered power supply so you do not need to have a power supply every five meters now in this picture here hopefully you can see that one i've got here is one power supply now this is a 60 meter project so if it's a, a basic rectangle this could be in a coving in a in a ceiling and you've got 60 meters of LED strip now this is based on that you're using an LED strip that has a maximum of five meters wide in series. So what's the best way to wire that? Well, in this case, you could have one power supply and you'd have a cable going to one corner of the rectangle and you'd be powering three meters one way and five meters the other way. Now you'd take another cable to the opposite corner and you'd be powering five meters one way and three meters the other way. So what we could do is we could make the strips into two times five meter lamps and two times three meter lamps, and they could all, for example, have a one meter starter lead on them. Then all you'd need to do is take a cable to one corner and a cable to the other corner, and connect to block them onto the cables onto the LED strips that we've provided. So that is that instance. Uh, here is another quick example. So let's see if you can see that there. This is a long straight run of a 25 meter straight run, for example. This could be within another project. It could be that there's four lumps, 25 meters in a rectangle or wherever it may be. So what you do here, based on the strip that you've chosen is a maximum of five meters in length or roughly around there. Again, you could have one power supply and you could take a cable to the middle of 10 meters. So in the middle of the 10 meters and you're running five meters left, five meters right. You take another cable to do the same thing again, five meters left, five meters right, and you can take a cable for the final five meter. So the 25 meter run based on the maximum of five meters in one run LED strip can still be wired back to one power supply just using three cables. Now, what thickness cables would you use? Well, to avoid any voltage drop, usually you'd use a uh, two core cable for white strip, 1.5 millimeter, usually gets you up to about 15 meters of cable. So again, the power supplies can be tucked away, can be in a ceiling, can be covered. They do not need to be near the LED strip. It's the same with RGB or RGBW. Sometimes some of the best ways to wire the project is to have all of your control gear and power supplies in one cupboard and then take the correct thickness cables to the different points of where the LED strips are going to be. So if you have any projects or you have any plans or any sketches of your area, you can send them over to us at InStyle, sales at instyleled.co.uk. And we can advise the best way, the best cost effective way for you to wire your project. We can speak to an in installers before, during and after the project. So usually the best option is, is really when you're thinking of the project, let us know as early as possible and we can advise on the best way of wiring, the most cost effective way. Because usually the most cost effective way is the least amount of power supplies. So for example, if you have a project where you have 25 meters and that could actually all be wired back to one power supply and one receiver, then that is a very good, very cost-effective option. But if you'd actually 
need the five core cable because the strip is RGBW, but you actually hadn't planned for the, this way of wiring and you just took twin and a half, two 40 volt cable to each five meter strip, then it would end up meaning that you'd need a power supply and a receiver for every five meter strip when you actually could have got away with one power supply, one larger power supply and one receiver. So the cost difference could be huge. So the more information you have, the earlier the better, you can definitely save yourself a lot of money there. Um, here's just one final quick um, option as well. Hopefully you can see this. So this is just basically showing if there is any corners, we can actually, um, if you provide us the length of the strip, say for example, a 1.2 meter strip, and then a corner, and then a 500 mil strip, and then a corner, and then a three meter strip. If you provide us with where these corners are, we can actually solder in small link cables. So the strips are pre-made to the length for you. So they can be bend round corners. For example, if it was under the kitchen cabinet, the strip would have a starter lead on it. It'd be the LED strip. It'd be a small cable to bend round the, cor the corner, carry on with the strip, another corner to the LED strip and carry on. So that's usually a game with a maximum of five meters wide in series. It can vary depending on which, which product you choose, but that's sort of a general rule. So there you have it. Um, so any questions, comments away in the comment section. Um, we're trying to upload as many videos as we can, a video every day, so be sure to subscribe and let us know if there's any videos that you'd like us to upload or cover. So please comment away and thank you for watching.